Hey, what's going on? I'm Bradley Jared with Popcorn Talk, joined with Erica Taylor. You are the producer of this movie, correct? Yes, I am one of the producers of The Invisible Vegan. Okay, so tell me about your role in the movie and what inspired you to join. Well, um, I am one of the producers, but I am also doing a few cameos throughout, throughout the film. Um, I had my own journey with veganism, vegetarianism through Jasmine, who's a very dear friend of mine. Um, she introduced me to some new concepts, so everything that you see is very real. Everything you see about my own health conditions which will be seen throughout the film is very real. Oh, wow. Yeah. So tell me, what's the most difficult part of transitioning from a standard American diet to one of veganism? Because everyone says it's the toughest thing in the world. Has it been tough and what was tough for you? Actually, you know what? It really wasn't that tough for me. Um, I had some health issues, which people will see throughout the film, that kind of triggered my knowledge and um, my drive to want to change my diet and try to get rid of those, which it actually worked. Um, so that is definitely a driving force for the reason for me. Um, the toughest thing, I think, is people always think that they're missing out on something because they're not having that meat. And the first thing they want to run to is, oh, I'm not getting enough protein. There's so many other things that are on the surf that provide protein for you besides flesh you know and so once you get past that ideal it's easier for you to move on to a more healthier lifestyle uh, and it's also uh, easier for you to change your palate people don't realize that the palate and the mind is what's constantly telling you I want to eat this I want to eat that you know so if you change your your ideals and change your palate which happens very easily you know you you, you win <laughs> very cool well, and it takes time. For a lot of people, it takes time. So you're you're not vegan yet, so you're on the journey. Tell me what it is you're called. Tell me the scientific term, because I know this is Absolutely. super long. Absolutely. I am a no-lacto-ovo vegetarian. So I uh, do not do anything with lactose. I'm lactose intolerant, um, so I don't do cow's milk. But uh, I do eat eggs still, and I'm working on passing through that and going into the veg's world. Um, and I'm also working on balancing my soy protein. Mm -hmm. You know, so, um, you know, we've been very candid. We're very candid throughout the film about my journey and others' journeys uh, about trying it. And so, you know, I'm almost there. <laughs> and what's one of your favorite recipes or maybe a brand of uh, veggie burgers or something that's really helping you along the way? Because I know there's a lot of alternatives out there right now. Absolutely. I am so excited about the Trader Joe's Beefless brand. So that's something they can use to substitute for ground meat. Um, the Beyond Chicken, the Beyond brand. I'm crazy about Sweet Earth Bacon. They have a Beyond Bacon, or a, I think they call it Benevolent Bacon. And it actually tastes good, because I've had some that are bad. Is yeah. this one actually really good? This is actually really good. It's got a really great hickory smoke flavor to it, and I really enjoy it. But I, I am willing to give my cooking secret, because I do cook from scratch quite a bit. Um, one of my cooking secrets is, Add sweet smoked Spanish paprika to anything, and it gives it like a, a meaty hickory type flavor. It's it's wonderful. It's wonderful spice to cook with. Wow, that sounds good. See, I'm, now my mouth is watering just <laughs> thinking about it. Like, screw meat. I just I just want some of that stuff. I want some of that faux bacon or right, whatever right, that's called. Right, right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Erica. Best of luck to you and your movie. Can you uh, give us your Instagram or any way to contact you or on any of the projects you're on? Absolutely. You can find me on uh, Instagram. It's soulglow76. It's S-O-U-L-G-L-O-7-6. Take a look at my Instagram page. I've got some great dishes, pictures of wonderful things that I've made that are pro-vegan. Um, so definitely take a look on there. It's soulglow76 on Instagram and Twitter. And, of course, I'm on Facebook. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great one. Me Thanks. Too.